Okay, today in this lecture we're going to be talking about cannabis, um, something you've you certainly heard about, and it's uh, there's a lot there's a lot more to it than you might think. Okay, the cannabis cannabis has been around for for millennia, um, and <clears throat> yeah. Probably the origin of the word uh, was way way to produce smoke. That's something I'd uh, 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 I didn't know until I looked it up on Wikipedia. And but, but importantly, cannabis has been used therapeutically for hundreds, if not thousands, of years in in India and and in China, um, you, you, usually in the form of of, um, of, of drinks. It's quite important because cannabis-based treatments are uh, are becoming quite popular now. So a little bit of history here. It was so uh, cannabis came to uh, to Europe and to, to to Western Europe in the in the eighteen hundreds, and it was not until the early early twentieth century that uh, it became illegal. <clears throat> so this is uh, cannabis sativa. There are different varieties of cannabis. So cannabis sativa is here, and this is cannabis indica. There are other varieties, but the, these are the, the, the main two. Um, they're, 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 they're different in, in how the leaves look, uh, in, in how they grow, and there is also a, a difference, or claimed difference, in terms of the, the, the effect they have when, when, when you smoke them, when you use them. So a whole bunch of cannabinoids uh, are, are produced by the cannabis plant, the most important of which we're going to come on to. Um, so just to contrast the cannabis hemp. So hemp, something that you may, may well have heard of in terms of you know, clothing. So hemp or industrial hemp is a variety of cannabis sativa that is grown specifically for industrial use. Uh, it's a very fast growing plant and it's been used to spin into fibres for, uh, for, for, for a long time. A big difference between hemp and what's called marijuana or the stuff that is smoked and, uh, and used and, and abused. So hemp or industrial hemp has uh, very low concentrations of, of THC, which we will go on to talk about. It's, it's not psychoactive and it's, used, it's, 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 it's easily grown and it's used for, 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 for clothing and lots of other products. I wonder how many people have chewed hemp products just thinking. Just thinking, just, 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 yeah, <laughs> or, uh, yeah, or tried smoking their, their T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's happened. <laughs> Um, so w w the the two most important cannabinoids within cannabis are THC tetrahydrocannabinol and CBD cannabidiol, and this is and the the ratio between the two is, is very important that we'll, we'll, we'll go on to explain. There are different types of of, of cannabis, almost invariably now. It, it's all weed. Um, there are other different types, so which I think we'll mention a little bit. So um, on the uh, on the left hand side, there th these are some of the different names that are were given to hashish. So hashish is the block form of uh, of, of cannabis. So certainly. <clears throat> Certainly in the 80s and 90s, Gold Seal and, and, and Red Seal from Pakistan were, were, were very popular uh, types of, uh, of, of hash. Uh, Leb was, <clears throat> was a very much a lighter coloured, uh, 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 sort of golden uh, hashish from, 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 from Lebanon. 
And then from the mid 90s, you, you had the, 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 the variety of skunk weeds. So skunk is the umbrella term for the high potency weeds. Uh, I think Northern Lights was, was one of the, and Hayes, they, they were one of the, 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 the prototype uh, skunks. Uh, Stardog is, is quite popular these days. So this is, this is hashish, uh, the block form of, 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 of cannabis. And the, the THC content of hashish is, is relatively low at about 4 to 8%. The important thing to understand about uh, the cannabis plant is that it can only make a certain amount of chemical. So the more THC it produces, the less CBD it produces. So there, there's, there's an inverse ratio. So, TH, so hash with a relatively low THC will have a relatively high amount of CBD. Um, so hash is, is used, it's, it's heated with, with a lighter and then when it's, uh, when, it's, when, it's, when it's warm it can be crumbled into a joint and it's smoked that way. It can be smoked in a pipe as well. So this is weed uh, or, or, or normal weed which, which, you won't, which you haven't seen anywhere in the last uh, 10 or 15 years. Uh, this was the sort of weed that was smoked in the 60s and, 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 and 70s <clears throat> and it had a, TH, a relatively low THC content of you know, around about typically about a six six or seven percent what so from the mid 90s or so <clears throat> almost all the weed that is smoked is the pedigree high potency weed skunk being the umbrella term skunk is a term used just because of the pungent smell of, of the weed I mean, some of these weeds absolutely stink it is hence the name skunk so these um, particular varieties of cannabis were specifically bred uh, for the purpose of of, 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 of developing plants which yield a high potency, a, a high yield of, 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 of THC. There are also certain growing techniques such as lighting and, and, and irrigation will, will also lead to an increase in the, 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 the THC amount in, in the weed. <clears throat> What's the sea of green method? Um, that's just where you've got lots and lots of, of it, it's, it's, it's uh, lots and lots of, of, of plants all, all together rather than, uh, and grown indoors rather than just, just grown wild. Invariably weed is sold in, in, in bags, so that um, looks like, I can't, I can't tell the size of the bag, so that might either be a 10 bag or, or, or a 20 bag. So when, you, when you're talking to patients and you're trying to quantify how much they're using, you know, I, I would ask, you know, do you normally buy a 10 bag or a 20 bag and how long would that last you? And that, that gives an idea of, of how much someone is, is, is using. So this is from a, a website in, in the States, and this is just an illustration of how many different varieties of, of, of weed there are. I mean, it's just you know, a huge number. This is just only a, a portion of what was on sale on that particular website. So lots of, uh, of different types of, of weed <clears throat> with varying strengths and um, varying proportions of the sativa or indica various blends I mean, it's kind of like 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 coffee in terms of different blends and you know the, the websites will have recommendations how do you want to feel oh we'll, we'll, we'll recommend this one And um, a slightly old slide now, but um, they, they, there is um, a cannabis cup uh, that is organized in, 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 in the US and was a competition for growing the, <clears throat> the, the strongest weed. And you, you get weeds with, with up to 30% THC. I mean, this is just incredibly, well, 
um, scarily strong uh, 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 amounts of THC. So why all the talk of THC and CBD? They are that they have um, very different effects. So the THC is is tends to be anxiogenic and it can produce psychotic like symptoms um, um, particularly you know over, over persecutory thoughts uh, cbd on the other hand tends to be far more uh, sedative and anxiolytic and indeed antipsychotic in that there, there have been trials where they have given cbd to psychotic patients and it has a proven um, antipsychotic effect. In, in weed where the THC content is, a, you know, is above 10% or so, so that's all of the weed that's smoke smoked now, the, the CBD content is, is zero. Have we seen a corresponding increase in psychosis? Definitely, definitely. So there is there is uh, a direct, there was a huge European study conducted which looked at the, uh, which demonstrated a clear correlation between the incidence of smoking high potency weed and first episode psychosis, um, particularly, particularly prevalent in, 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 in cities. So, uh, you know, a, a definite association. Uh, so yeah, so the use of uh, cannabidiol is, uh, is is being researched not only for the treatment of, of psychosis, but um, for the treatment of, of, of anxiety, insomnia, and a, a variety of of uh, medical indications. Again, this is an old. This is about a few years old, uh, but um, this is a slide taken from an advert in in, in North America, where um, certainly over the last four or five years, cannabis-based products have been used widely for the for the treatment of both um, mental health and physical health uh, 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 reasons. Um, I mean, as you may know, CBD now is available over the counter. In this country, you can get uh, um, CBD and THC products, but that, 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 that's only on prescription. So how is cannabis used? So typically it's used uh, in, a, in a rolled cigarette or, or a joint, a cigarette rolling paper, tobacco, and then the weed is, is, is sprinkled on top. Can also be smoked in a, in a water pipe, that's a, it's a relatively basic water pipe, or you can buy you know, fancy three chamber bongs. So essentially what a bong does, it <clears throat> it takes the the, the hot uh, gas bubbles it through water, cools it down, so it's, 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 it's a lot easier to inhale. And you know, it's also possible to, to, to smoke far, far larger quantities of, of, of weed through a bomb. Uh, <clears throat> can also be, be um, used in, in tea. Uh, and what it has been for, for, for centuries, I mean, particularly in, in, you know, in India, um, Cannabis uh, is is not very water soluble, so it uh, it is um, milk soluble. So if you're going to have a cup of tea, it needs to be you'd, you'd need to dissolve the, the cannabis in, in milk first. Or like chai and yeah, or, or lassi, or yes. yeah, or, or bung lassi is the term used for um, um, uh, um, the, the hot milk drink with with, with cannabis. If you really want to be exotic, you can use a vol volcano vaporizer. <clears throat> the THC and CBD will, um, will, 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 will burn at different temperatures. So if you use a, I mean, if, if you're a connoisseur, then, then you, can, you can buy a volcano vaporizer. Not many people do. Okay. Um, cannabis, I mean, is 
is, is virtually legal throughout all of the, the, the United States. It's, it's legal in at least four states, I think, now, decriminalised in many of them. All of Canada now, um, um, cannabis is, is, is legal for, for sale and use. And for most of, of Europe, it's, it's either tolerated or, or decriminalised. <clears throat> I think that this, is, this, this will happen in the UK. Uh, I think it's got to the point where, um, not that I think it's a good idea, but I think there's probably, politically, there's, there's more votes in legalising it than saying it's, it's harmful. Mm. Um, I, I, I don't agree with legalisation because I think that what will happen is that you'll have much more, a greater prevalence of smoking of the quite harmful, highly potent weeds. Okay. So another way of, of taking cannabis is through edible products. So the, these, these products They've been on sale in Amsterdam for, for years, but now in, in, the, in, in the US and, and, in, and in Canada, there's a, there's a huge market for, for edibles. So cannabis made into, into you know, very attractive looking biscuits and, 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 and cakes. But not only that, if you can see, they've got a wide range of Chocolates called uh, the Keef Cat and the Munchy Way, and yeah, Butterfinger. yes, um, an attractive packaging there. The, the risk with, with edibles, however, is that the onset of action is, is, is delayed uh, by about an hour or so. So, not uncommonly, if you go to Amsterdam and you, you see people eating cookies. They'll eat one and 15 minutes later, nothing's happening. So they eat a whole load more and then you'll see them an hour later just lying down outside the coffee shop. Yeah, looking quite green. And other things, you know, lots of lolly, you know, you know, cannabis lollipops and, 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 and other type of sweets. So a, hu a huge market in, in, in North America. Uh, and increasingly, this will be a huge market in, in, in Europe as well. Okay, hope you found that interesting. Any questions and comments, please leave them below.